Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about membrane filtration and highlight the differences between the four different classifications of membranes, particularly as it pertains to dairy. First up, we have microfiltration. Uh, microfiltration is the largest or has the largest membrane pore size used within the industry. MF typically allows particles greater than 0.2 microns to be rejected by the membrane. Due to the open pore structure, system pressures within an NF plant to drive the separation process and extract permeate are low, typically in the 1 to 2 bar range, which is 15 to 30 psi. In dairy, microfiltration is used for reducing bacterial loads of milks, for fat removal in a whey stream ahead of a whey protein isolate process, milk protein fractionation such as separation of native whey proteins away from the micella casein stream, MF is also used in waste streams or spent chemical streams as a clarifier to remove particulates and other suspended solids ahead of a chemical recovery process. Next up we have ultrafiltration which have smaller membrane pores than MF. Uh, ultrafiltration can now reject components much smaller than 0.1 micron and in dairy this includes rejection of all milk proteins as well as fat and bacteria as per microfiltration. Uh, UF applications include protein concentration, standardization and purification through the removal of the milk sugar known as lactose uh, and this is by far the most common dairy application. So its use is prevalent in whole milk and skill milk concentration standardization and the production of whey protein concentrates, whey protein isolates. Uh, pressure requirements with UF are higher and are typically uh, they range between 3 and 8 bar which is 45 to 120 psi. UF membranes themselves can generally withstand up to 10 bar inlet pressures, which is 150 psi. Nanofiltration has a smaller pore structure uh, again than UF and can also reject multivalent ions such as calcium and magnesium, whilst having much lower rejection of the monovalent ions such as sodium chloride. NF is often used for desalting or partially demineralizing some dairy streams, as well as used for purification color removal of recovered alkali chemical, st chemical streams for chemical reuse. Nanofiltration is becoming more and more prevalent on the back of a UF or RO process to further allow higher total solids retentates to be produced whilst maintaining acceptable permeate flux levels. Due to the increase of osmotic pressure in NF streams, system pressure often starts at no less than 10 bar, uh, which is 300 psi, and runs higher. Finally, we have reverse osmosis membranes, which effectively, effectively remove all organic and inorganic components from dairy streams to produce a membrane permeate that is essentially water with a small number of ions. In dairy, RO membrane systems run between 25 and 40 bar, which is 370 to 570 psi, and are used to concentrate whole milk, skim milk, as well as concentrate many whey and milk lactose permeates originating from milk and cheese and casein whey UF processes. So that's a brief summary of the four different classifications of membranes used in dairy. To find out more, please visit us at Smart Membrane Solutions, where we further demonstrate uh, a myriad of opportunities available with process membranes. Uh, we do that through our process flow diagrams located, located in our project section of our website. Uh, we look forward to sharing more insights with you soon.